Oh, 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 yeah, 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 I was rolling. Let's go. Yes. I got that. Let's go. Oh. What is up, guys? Welcome back to another episode. Shooting a little bit of a late intro here. We started out early this morning, as you guys are going to see here in this video in Port Washington. And uh, it was a grind. I mean, it was really tough. We had really warm temps. So it was pretty difficult to get on fish. Tony did catch one nice one that you'll see here shortly in this video. Uh, so we switched it up, and we're in Milwaukee now. As you can see in the background, there's the skyline in Milwaukee right now and it's still a grind nothing has changed so we are gonna give it our best probably throw a few different baits here essentially we're gonna be looking for these fish hopefully coming in off the lake we've had some rain here the river is pumping out some muddy water so ideally some of these fish will be pushing in and hopefully we can catch one or two uh, the thing about salmon guys is sometimes it's a grind and sometimes it's on fire so you never really know it's got to kind of come out put your time in and hope for the best. So stay tuned, we're gonna try to get on some giants. Oh, and by the way, guys, I have Tony with me from Wisconsin Anglers. If you guys haven't yet, definitely go down below. I'm gonna throw his link up for his YouTube channel. Check that out. He does some super sick winter fishing here in the harbors and uh, also some walleye fishing. If you know Eric Hadia, Tony fishes and films for Eric as well. So definitely go down below, check out that link. I'm gonna link his Instagram and his YouTube. Oh, all right, all Tony ready. is hooked up. Just took my GoPro off too because I changed. I threw a skein around out the back. We literally just talked about that earlier. But I say though, <laughs> yeah, right. As soon as you don't have a camera rolling, bam. I put on the lighter spoon so it flooded real slow. Yep. I gave it one pop and it came up and ate it. Nice. Oh, now we get. <laughs> Better put around 100 and get going. <laughs> That's one thing about these fish out here, guys. Especially early like this, before they get dark, they're they're apt to spool you if you don't have a big reel. Looks like a good one. Big head takes too. That was so cool, dude. It's just it makes it so much different when you can watch them, you know, interact with your bait. You guys can see here is a bunch of fish down there on the live scope, and they're all over in here right now. Didn't take too long. No. What time is it? Seven thirty. We've only been out here for well, fishing probably I'd say about an hour. Yeah. Love it. Sun's just coming up. Just so you guys know, if you guys want to spend a million dollars, you guys can watch that every morning in the condo. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> million dollar condos are over there. Million dollar condos to watch the sunrise. <laughs> or you can live 10 minutes away. I, I think they 40. bought it just to watch you catch fish, Tony. I think so too. <laughs> I got my knocks What's up? <laughs> this is like my first cast with that uh, that lighter spoon though. Because it was fluttered real slow. Yeah, some days it's like, that, I'm going to try that jerk shed though. Yeah, I mean that that's good too. Just that's, that's something a, with that's that flutter, slow. you know. That's a slow flutter too. We noticed a lot of fish with the heavier spoon. Like Tony had a one ounce, I had a three quarter ounce, and a lot of them were shying away from it. So that's why he downsized. It's one thing about fishing, guys. I don't care what species it is, what time of year. If you're not catching, just switch, switch, switch. It doesn't have to be crazy big changes, but just the difference. <laughs> the difference of a half ounce can make all the, all the world difference. Running again, so I can. That's the thing about kings too, too, is like once they get that one look of the boat, they're like, uh-uh, yeah, like, nope, not digging this. <laughs> Buddy, I'll let you go. Uh -huh. Ooh, barely got that spoon on the tip of the nose. Yeah. I'm gonna do a lift and a sweep. Yep, here. gotcha. There we go. <laughs> That's a big fish. That is a big fish. We'll take Had it. to double them over in the bass net. <laughs> <laughs> Fish of the day. Oh, we'll yeah. take it. All right, guys, so there's the big old buck. Tony just popped on that spoon. We're gonna go ahead, get him, get him back. He'll be ready to go right away. Yep. Maybe. Maybe it's, it's it was it. like a da -da -da. Yeah. Oh, there's a school out 70 feet though. Pretty good number of them too. 
Like four of them. You're a little behind. Yep, go down. Right. Yeah, he's right on you now. That's right where he is. Come on, come here. Gonna go right through him. Yeah, one more reel. There you go. Oh, oh, oh! Yeah, 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 I was rolling. Let's go. Yeah, I got dude. that. Let's go. Oh, he's out of the water, dude. That was so cool. That was so cool. Oh, big old hen, dude. Big hen. Big hen, dude. Big hen. <laughs> big hen. <laughs> big hen. Let's go. So sick. That was the coolest thing ever. Oh, she was fired up, dude. She was ready to go. So fired up. No, no, you don't. No, you don't. No, you don't. No, no. Dude, that's a beautiful hand. Silver, too. I knew she was gonna eat. You could just see the way she was Dude, whipping around like that. As soon as she turned, as soon as she turned, I was like, it's game on, brother. Yes. You couldn't even keep it away from her. Yep. Me. That's awesome. She smoked it. Oh, shit. I knew oh. it was gonna happen, brother. I knew yep. She had to wait it out. Oh. Big mama. Let me know if you feel her coming up again. I'm gonna try and get a full one shot of her jumping out of the water. All right. Big head shake. Oh yes. We're keeping that. Oh yeah. Honestly, dude, if you want to keep the fish in smoke, that's the one. Oh yeah, for sure. Still like, fresh. We were just talking about fish coming in from the lake. Like a new round of fish push. That's it right there. This is one of them. We're gonna get one. This is a good one. That perfect, just enough for her to be able to run. All of a sudden, all those fish started popping up. She's about ready, guys. Up and down. Got her. Yes, dude. Got her in the net, brother. Yeah, buddy. There you go, brother. Well, that is what we came here for right there. We have been grinding today, guys. It's been a really, really tough bite, but we watched that big female come in and just smack that spoon on live scope. And then she went airborne an insane amount of times, which made it that much better. We were just talking about how these fresh fish are coming in off the lake. Locator started to light up on the live scope and we finally got one to go. That one will give you some fresh skein and be a good smoker. All right guys, so one of the things you wanna do with these fish, if you're planning on using the skein and using the eggs for bait in the future, you wanna go ahead and bleed them out. Not only does it keep the meat nice and clean, but it also stops that blood from getting into the eggs and it'll give you a much fresher skein when you're using it for bait later. So essentially all you're gonna do is just come in with your knife here and carefully slice out the gills on both sides. And that is gonna bleed them out really quickly. And then we'll just run our live well pumps to circulate that water out and she will be nice and clean, both meat and skein. Well guys, we finally made it back home after going out and chasing salmon with Tony. And I'm gonna be super honest with you guys, that was an absolute grind of a day. You know, you guys watched this video and you saw, you know, these couple of catches of these nice salmon, but what you don't see is that all day 
grind. I mean, we are casting and ripping and casting and ripping. We put our baits easily in front of, I don't know, three, 400 fish throughout the day. And still, still with live scope, we struggle to actually get hooked up. So sometimes when you're salmon fishing, it's just tough guys. And especially when the water temps come up and they're fluctuating up and down, up and down, those fish honestly, sometimes just get in a weird mood and they just don't want to bite. But in any event, we had a super fun time. We were laughing our butts off on the boat the, uh, the whole time we were there. And it was just tons of fun. And we ended up fishing both Port Washington and Milwaukee and they're both a grind. So I am definitely gonna be getting back out soon. It was super, super fun to hook up with the one. You saw all the crazy jumps out of that one female that we hooked. That was super epic. So guys, if you haven't yet, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Also go down in the comments and let me know if you've done any salmon fishing so far this year and what your favorite salmon bait is. Also guys, if you have not yet, make sure you go out to the PC Fun website, check out some of our gear. You can see the gear that I was using in the salmon video held up extremely well. And as it does always, those carbon drags are super, super sick and super smooth and they have great longevity. Head over to PCFun.com and check out some of the gear. Thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you on the next one.